just death PV. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel, Dear Tribe. Um, today it's a bit out of the ordinary and excuse a mess on this table, but I uh, took the chance I had to um, present you the new project, which apparently is a new mini wing. Um, I figured we are not really done with the mini AR wing yet. There will be some more episodes on that, but after that and meanwhile we'll do something new and this will be this bad boy this is uh haywing f01 aka diet zone ripper r690 690 because of the wingspan which apparently is 690 millimeters um comes as a kit directly from China to where you live if you pay the guys and there you go I've already collected some of my well-known components and I want to tell you what I will stuff into this so yeah this will be a boring video with some tech talk and whatever anyways first of all this thing comes as a kit there's no motor on it and it's to this designed to speed a bit so I've picked one of my goody old T-Motor F40 Pro 2 motors with 2150 kb which will spin a 6 or even 7 inch prop at um, 12 or 16 was that was say 3 or 4 S um, depending on how my mood will be is it then um, it will be such a bad boy 1500 milliamps to speed the hell out of the, uh, the fuselage or it will become this lithium iron pack which is known to fly a long time like it did in the AR Mini. However, we'll see about that. First of all, we should look into the fuselage. Fuselage, fuselage, here we go. <laughs> it is, um, if you know me, I'm light, thick foam and this is really nice and thick foam, first of all. Um, look at this looks and reminds me a lot of the S800 Sky Shadow Foam or the S1100 Harrier or S670 Swallow Foam um, This is Swallow Foam. This is pretty good. Tough stuff. Pretty good. Well done. Pre-assembled as it is. It comes here. You can have a look inside at the compartment bay is here bonkers and it has rails on which you can attach your components like on such a thing here and you will simply be able to uh, put the things back and forth however you like that's nice I don't know if I need all this it's uh, designed to carry an uh, air unit from DJI if you decide to do so I am not on that digital hype I do like analog and I will fly this analog with a similar setup as I had it in the AR Mini um, Let's look from back to forth. This is a motor mount, which is um, some sort of um, plastic. Pretty tough though, nothing that looks brittle or feels like that. Inside it there are some LEDs, which I apparently didn't connect yet, but I know they are there and I saw the manual, which apparently not has been delivered. You have to download it somehow. And uh, well, this is the connector for the LEDs, which will surely take five volts from the flight computer or back, whatever. So we have this nice thing here, which is uh, designed to let the airflow from the nose part, which goes in here, <laughs> with a funny detail though, I'll tell about it in a minute, um, to uh, let the airflow out again. So this is nice, um, you guys, uh, this is made for the DJI units in the front section. Um, there comes some lens caps and uh, holders for the cameras. I've stuffed my Runcam hybrid in here. You can see this fits awesomely well. Um, I'll uh, keep it there. This is good stuff. Well, back to the air unit. And the manual says if we fly further or <laughs> faster than 100 kilometers an hour, we have to put an extra lens protection cap on because otherwise the hatch will blow off. <laughs> Nice. Yes, of course it will. And it will do so because you can see the magnets here. Yeah. And 
they are here as well. Everything comes pre-assembled, that's pretty nice. And uh, the only problem with this I, that I have is that you don't have anything you can, um, well, connect to the front part. See, airflow is from the front, right? And uh, they decided to do such a little thing in the back. So you have to clip it under there and it snaps right in with the magnets. That's nice. But you see, when the rear airflow is just pumping air in and the vent here won't release enough, there's some pressure and this will push the hatch off. And bye bye, lullaby. So the hatch is off, you'll supposedly not find it again. Or it runs through the prop or whatever. So what I intend to do is do another mechanism here so we can fit on the, this edge here and close it. So yeah, that won't go anywhere. Then. So you can look here, you see there's plenty of room for your DJI unit or whatever kind of camera you want to place here. Pretty nice, well done. Um, that's it for the fuse lodge, I guess. Uh, I'm not really sure about how to build this yet, but you see here, if you look at it, um, it's pretty nice. It has this really nice shape. It's not a standard just wing fall, which is everything symmetrical. Now you can see it here. And if I take wing, you can see it here. It is, uh, has some extra shape. That's nice. I assume it to glide pretty well. Yeah, onto those rails. Nice idea, but I don't think I'm gonna use so much of it. I will simply use that one piece to connect the FC somewhere here, far in the back. That's it. Okay. Speaking of FC, of the components, we'll get back to components in a second. I will show you, first of all, the wing foil. Uh, the wing itself is pretty nice. As I said, the foam is awesome. Um, I've tried to stuff in my servo, my reliable servo, and this fits in like a charm. I don't think I have to glue this, just stuff it in. It works brilliantly so far, but perhaps I should glue it, right? Right? Yeah. On the other hand, um, you have this groove where you just stuff your servo wires in and it's good to go. Nice detail. There has been some carbon spar for the carbon spar. That's good. This won't, um, well, get uh, fiddly by time because you just enter and um, pull, enter the, the, the stuff here and the stick here and um, pull it out again. This will keep good. And the rest of it, everything is good. I will have to make another groove um, because there's a flaw for me as I like to attach my VTX or even the receiver from a radio in the outer wings. Just a bit of separation and um, that's good. Because if you put everything here on the fuselage, it will look like an insect, perhaps? I don't know. Well, I don't know. So yeah, let's go over to the moment. So that's really all there is to this stuff here. There's no fancy uh, cave ad. It just looks good and I hope it flies as it looks because it's really good, really cool. Yeah, we said something else, but well, yeah, it's good. It's good. Components, speaking of, first of all, the brain, the FC. It will be not a Matic F411WSE this time now, it's just a newer F405WSE. I've already soldered some of the pins together. I like the detail with the external USB-C connector and buzzer. Um, I'd give this a shot because it has more UARTs and it has this little connector to take your SD card. That's pretty awesome in regard, in, in, in if you think of stuff like black box and dashboard and whatever you would like to do, this is it. Everything's done with this, perfect. Right, um, this will fit lovely on this piece of wood and you can just push it around inside where you want to have it. That's good. Um, well, the motor, I told you already. I decided to start with um, T-Motor F40 Pro 2, 2150 kV, which I used to have on board. Should give a little punch. Um, we'll have to do the wiring a bit later, because this is a bit short. Um, this will be connected to uh, Rise 32SC from Airbrot. 
will take maximum of 35 amps and these are pretty reliable and nice and I decided for to take this instead of saying well which ESC will I buy this time? No! <laughs> I've got so much of my stuff here so let's, let's use this we have first and then order things we don't have if we need them. Okay so this is it we'll get some new um, wires here and a connection to the AFC right and and guess that's it so nothing fancy as you can see or would expect perhaps no nothing fancy um what do i have there yeah speaking of vtx i've still got that one here the tbs unified e pro 32 this is pretty nice i've had pretty much fun with this it had some really nice effects for me and uh, the current edited video is flown with this one um, you will see what I mean if you look at this video <laughs> and say, hey, well, how did you do it? I say, I take this or I take something similar. This will do the video. Apparently, and unfortunately, the video antenna is not delivered yet. We'll take an MMCX connector and that's it for the video. It will be connected to the flight computer to be able to use smart audio to um, regulate the power on demand. Yes, okay. Then there's another thing I'm happy to announce. I will not fly Crossfire. I will fly something new. And if you see this, it looks like a tracer, but it ain't. Because this is, dear friend, this is... Let me have a look and turn it right. If you didn't guess it already, it is Express LRS. Express LRS, right. And this is Express LRS on 2.4 GHz. And I can tell you, I am pretty satisfied and happy with the outcome of this little product. This is something I've been um, ordering by a blog who made this for me. And I got two of those receivers. One is um, currently in the, in the Skywalker X6, which does a brilliant job. And this one will get into the Ripper. Well, yeah. Full telemetry and everything I need. 100 milliwatts maximum of transmission power and uh, yeah, uh, lovely. More about that and these topics on another video. But yeah, Express LOS, guys, this is the way to go. Can't go better. Well, now we have been looking at the front of the nose and this looks like this, some like camera style, <laughs> observation camera perhaps, however this will take a camera and of course it will take my run cam hybrid and also this will be connected to the flight computer so I can start and stop recording anytime and uh, not need to punch any buttons here and hope for it to work and launch and figure out it didn't record because it stopped by some reason. <sighs> Well, it's not perfect, but it's good. It's good. I really like it. I've made many videos with it and the quality is astoundingly good. However, it has its flaws, of course. It's very fragile and um, don't need to mention any things here. So if you got this one of first generation, it's okay. If you got second generation, it's even better because you have a embedded, embedded a Runcam Phoenix 2 uh, camera in it, which does a good, good, good job. My currently favorite FPV analog camera. Well, I guess that's it for now. Let me punch all the things over. Um, with a setup like this, and it's a mini wing, you can expect fancy things to happen. You can fly um, line of sight the whole day. You can um, fly some missions. And uh, what I want to do is uh, some waypoint missions. I want to try radar on it because we are flying radar 2.0. I don't know if you are aware of enough radar 2.0 is out. Um, Olivier C um, has finished the firmware which is in test currently and I will be happy to run this and run through the code of the repository. So yeah, expect something else to happen and uh, well, this little bird will get some fancy stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smart audio. It will have video control on the camera. It will have INAV radar. It will have Express LRS. It will have INAV uh, sync until then we'll <laughs> surely reach 3.0. And uh, it's brand new. It will be a little beast perhaps or it will become a calm cruiser. So hang on. The show is about to begin and you are right smack in the middle of it. Join me on our journey. Subscribe to the channel and we'll meet again. Until the next time. Bye-bye, be seen.
Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. That would be awesome. That would be awesome.